to be in line with your goals, not necessarily to be in line with what you think you need to do, but what you know to be good for you. Um, one last thing I want to say, and this is something that I get a lot, is you know, what if I have kids? You know, I, I know I don't need these in the house, but the kids the kids love it. You know, and, and really the only response I have to that is if you don't want to put it in your body and you know it's going to take you down the wrong path, it's probably something that you shouldn't be giving your kids because a lot of the times, and that's how a lot of us got to where we are today, is we do what our parents did. We do what we had as a, um, when we were younger. Because when you're a kid, the only thing you know is what your friends and your parents would cook and eat and do. When you grow up and you're out of high school and you're out of college and now you're on your own, a lot of the times you go to what's comfortable, what you're familiar with, what you've already done or seen, and that typically just kind of repeats itself over and over. And you get a lot of people saying, well, genetically, you know, heart disease runs in my family. A lot of the time, if you look back at that family, there's actually a lot of diet and exercise and habit things that will lead up to that, not necessarily what their physical genetic makeup is telling you. Now, all of it ultimately comes down to habits and environment. And if you can structure those to be beneficial for your goals, then you can fend off a lot of these other areas that most people sort of deflect and say, oh, I'm just getting older. Oh, that just happens as you age. It does happen as you age, but only if you're doing the wrong thing for a longer period of time. And that's all it really is when you age. If you're doing the right thing, you're gonna see people who are your same age, you know, and very fit, very healthy, very active, and wonder, well, how did they get there? Well, it's just proper choices, proper environment, and time. And you put those three things together and you can achieve anything. And that's all I've got. Any questions about engineering your environment for success or? Couldn't have been that thorough. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, thank so, you guys. Okay. Yeah. So, um, do you recommend, one of the things that I'm trying to do is get things ready at the beginning of the week mm -hmm. and putting like, chopping up all the snacks and everything. So yeah. That, so when you open the fridge, you, we just always eat cheese. Right. <laughs> that's the thing that's like sitting It's the, the easiest fridge. thing, right. cut a slice, you're right. done. Yeah. So, cutting up vegetables and having them all ready mm -hmm. and having, having our salads just basically where you just throw it together. Yeah. Making tuna. Like that. So do That's, you recommend that? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And I do that myself um, on weekends. You know, typically I'll cook up three or four major foods, you know, beans, rice, and I'll throw some, some vegetables together, cut them up, put them in some Tupperware. And then every day I, I go to the fridge, I can just, if I need a snack, grab some beans, throw it in a bowl, toss some rice on it, throw it in the microwave while I eat my carrot sticks, and boom, I have a full, complete meal. doesn't take more than three or four minutes, and I'm out the door. And I know that I got everything I needed in my body. I got my proteins, I got my carbs, I got some vegetables. And I know I don't have to necessarily worry if I do have to cheat, you know, sometime later because everything else in my life has been set up. So, you know, take yesterday, for example. I had a couple glasses of wine because every day I make sure I set myself up for success. So it doesn't feel guilty to go out and have that indulgence. You know, having some chocolate from time to time, that's absolutely fine but you have to make sure the rest of your life is set up to keep you successful so that that makes sense. But yeah, making sure you prep that food and having it ready for you is gonna make it easier to make that choice rather than scouring the kitchen over and over to find that, that bad food. And that's one more thing. Always make the good choice easy and the bad choice hard. You know, if it's not in the house, you have to leave and drive somewhere to go get it. That's gonna make it really hard. That means if you wanna go do that, Mentally, you might have needed it for that happiness because if you're willing to get in your car and go somewhere and buy it and eat it and you already have everything in your house, maybe you needed that cheap. But most of the time, you're going to end up saying, you know, it's not worth the 10 minute drive to the store. I'll go ahead and I'll eat this. So, yeah, food prep is going to be big. Any other questions? All right. Thank you. Thank you.
Yeah. <laughs>